I wish. Where is that? No, I don't have that. <laughs> but you're still like doing these kind of action movies. Do you feel like it's harder for you now, or is it the same? Are you still in such good shape as you as you used to? Um, yeah, I ago? mean, certainly. You know, when I started, you know, my first action film really was Point Break. Um, so if I talk about that guy and then this guy, um, this guy has a lot more experience um, and probably can't run and jump quite like this guy, but. Uh, the experience helps with that. But the physicality of it, is it more challenging now? For you? Um, you know, it really depends on the, on the uh, event. Um, you know, I probably can't run up a flight of stairs quite the same way. Are you like an adrenaline junkie like, like he is? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like intense things. So in that world that I, I'm in, uh, you know, I had a lot of training and... Yeah. <laughs> So do you like giving punches or taking punches? Um, you know, I, I really liked John's suffering in the movie. You know, I liked his emotional suffering. I liked that he got beaten up. But there's a certain pleasure that you get from being able to take action. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Can you explain why guys are so into cars? Why? And, and chicks. Some, you know, the ladies like the cars as well. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think there must be, um, I don't know, the machine, the aesthetics of it, the potential of them, um, how they sound, how they smell, what they do. Um, and the speed, probably. And the speed, the torque, the power. But you're more like a motorcycle guy yourself. Right? I am. I'm more motorcycle. You yeah. started your own motorcycle. I do. I have a motorcycle company called Arch Motorcycle that's making these really cool machines. Daisy. I lost everything. That dog was a gift from my dying wife. You know, he's grieving the, the loss of his wife and the gift that he, he received from her in terms of this, this dog. Um, you know, she says in a letter to him, I know you need someone or something to love. Um, I think we can all relate to the idea of something being taken away and the anger that we would feel at being his home's invaded, you know, he's beaten, you know, parts of his life, his intimate life, things that are precious to him are taken away. And I think John Wick has this kind of fantasy element that he can take action, he can come back. Rusty, I guess.